Hello and welcome to this week's Fast Tracks with me, Pete Tong. An amazing show for you this week, one of the best remixes in the world right now. Uh, a brand new tune from Dave Dresden and Chris Cox that revives Tears for Fears. Uh, also, I'll be talking to Quentin Harris, a bit of a, a house hero right now. And I'll be revealing this week's Bedroom Bedlam Top 3 and uh, news of the first Hammer Horror film uh, to be released in 30 years. Uh, you'll have to wait for that though, because here is the brand new tune from Funkerman. Rather nice video as well. by Funkerman and it's called Speed Up. Right, let's get into this week's Bedroom Bedlam Top 3 as voted for by you at FastTracks.tv. Here is number three. This is Antoine R who's 18 years old and he's been working on Reason 4 for eight months. Confused? Too much information? Uh, this is Champagne. <laughs> That's number three on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart, a chart that is voted for by you. Just go to FastTracks.tv and register at your vote. Okay, time for a cosy fireside chat with a house head. His name is Quentin Harris. Good evening. I'm Quentin Harris and welcome to Masterpiece Theatre. And I will be answering questions today, five of them, hopefully no more. And hopefully I will answer them efficiently enough that I won't have to be asked them again. Growing up in Detroit, um, it was really, really eclectic musically there. Um, you had Motown, you had techno, you had a lot of funk stuff, uh, jazz, um, just pretty much the gambit of music. You know, it's in middle America, so you get East Coast, West Coast, Southern, and then, you know, the crazy Detroit stuff all merged into one thing. The new album, No Politics, um, on Strictly Rhythm, you can expect to hear, you know, just a small window into the crazy mind that is Quentin Harris. Um, it's pretty much a, a um, eclectic. There's a, you know, there's a hip hop track on it. There's an R&B track. There's instrumentals, you know, vocals, and, you know, various different styles. You know, mixing it up, keeping it interesting. Thank you, Quentin. We'll be back to you in uh, just a moment. Okay, time for this week's remix. So you're, you're sitting there in your studio and your phone rings and someone asks you to remix the Rolling Stones. Well, uh, and not just any old Rolling Stones tune, but probably uh, one of the greatest Rolling Stones tunes uh, they ever wrote. You can't always get what you want. It didn't happen to me. It only happens to Soul Wax. Uh, enjoy. This is fantastic. It comes from the 21 soundtrack. You can't always get what you want. How much fun did they have remixing that? You can hear it oozing through the speakers. Uh, Soul Wax's remix, incredible it is, of You Can't Always Get What You Want from the Rolling Stones. It's on the 21 soundtrack. I tell you what, in fact, I order you to get that in your collection as soon as possible. If you buy the CD, the album, you can also get that brilliant new LCD sound system track uh, as well that we played you a couple of weeks ago. Okay, let's resume to the Bedroom Bedlam chart. Here is this week's number two. This is Jay Cox, he's from Portsmouth, which means he's going to the FA Cup final. Uh, this is rather a kind 
kind of rousing kind of FA Cup final kind of song. Uh, it's called The Perfect Place. Number two on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart, don't forget, uh, if you are making music, especially in your bedroom, then I need to hear it. Please send me your music, uh, send me a download link to the uh, address on the screen now. Each and every week we check every single entry out, and as I said, the, the winners on this show are voted for by you at FastTracks.tv. Time now to tell you about a brand new movie, the first release from the uh, Hammer Film Company in nearly 30 years. Hammer were responsible for Dracula, for Frankenstein, for Christopher Lee, uh, for Vincent Price, all that scary stuff. The new movie is called Beyond the Rave. It's a vampire thriller uh, set in the present day, directed by uh, first-time director Matthias Hone. It is scary, it is funny, and it's got a cutting-edge electronic score, uh, courtesy of some bloke called Pete Tong. Take a listen and a look at this. Musically, it's a cutting-edge and dark electronic score that features the likes of Teenage Bad Girl, Deadly Avenger, Black Ghost, Dustin Swint, Paul Rogers, Uncle, By Now, Ghost Frequency, Radio Clip, Andy Chatterley and Narina Pallet, Dejan Garlic, DJ Zinc and Dave Spoon, J Magic, Justice, The Kazals, Digitalism, Steve Mack, Dusty Kid, Claire Dyer, and some bloke called Pete Tong. I'm Ben Grass, I'm the producer of Beyond the Rave. Um, and my company's Pure Grass Films. And Beyond the Rave is really, it's a vampire series. Um, it's about a soldier who is going to war and he has 16 hours of leave. And before he gets on the plane, he wants to have one last good time with his girlfriend and his mates. So they go out looking for trouble. Um, but when he gets out of the barracks, he finds that his girlfriend's gone missing and she's hooked up with these travelers. And what he's got to do is find the rave that they're throwing that night. But when they get there, they discover that they're not in fact travelers, they're vampires and, and all hell breaks loose. The series stars Jamie Dornan uh, as Ed, the soldier, Tama Hassan as Rich Crocker, who's the leader of this local drug gang. Uh, Sebastian Knapp is the head of the vampires, and Sadie Frost is a vampire. Lois Winston plays Lilith, another one of the vampires. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a motley cast of, of, of characters. We always conceived of the series as um, something that would be released online first, and that's what we specialize in doing at Pure Grass Films. So we, we wrote it as a series of episodes rather than as a movie. So we're trying to give the audience a little journey within each episode, but also a story that spans the whole series. The thing that I think I'm really proudest of about Beyond the Rave is the way it looks super, and although we did it at a low budget, it's got a, a filmic quality, which is fantastic and exciting. It begins now. So you can find um, Beyond the Rave first online on MySpace, uh, myspace.com forward slash Beyond the Rave. It's going to be released on the 17th of April in 19 countries. Uh, 20 episodes, they're coming up two a week uh, through to June. What we're going to do in June is release a DVD of the feature cut, which is going to have all kinds of extra footage that you can't see.
Beyond the Rave there, I highly recommend you check it out. It is funny, it is scary, and musically uh, quite enticing. Time now to get into this week's Upfront Tune, featuring an old buddy of mine who's now teamed up uh, with Dave Dresden, recently split from Mr. Josh Gabriel. This is Chris Cox and Dave Dresden uh, reviving, who would think of it, Tears for Fears. Excellent tune, perfect for lifting your spirits in the spring. Uh, brand new from Chris Cox and Dave Dresden. Right, uh, back to Quentin. Ivy mixes a lot of a lot of people like Mary J. Blige and Coldplay and Justin Timberlake and et cetera, et cetera. Um, what I bring to the table is that I always think of the song first. I try to get into, when I work on a remix, I, I, if I can, I try not to hear the original, but sometimes that's impossible with a popular record. Um, but I try to block all that out and listen to the words and try to get into the mind of what the person is thinking about and how they wrote it and try to create that canvas to their pain. I would have to say I love playing in Japan um, in my worldwide travels as a DJ and I think the reason why I like playing in Japan so much is the long set times. Um, you know play 12, 13 hours, no problem. Um, and I'm able to just play whatever I want to musically and they go right along with you. They let you take them on a journey. And I like that. The storytelling with records, I love that. You can expect uh, more madness for Quentin Harris in 2008 and beyond. For more information about me and my dates, gigs and things of that sort, um, you check out my MySpace page. Many thanks to Quentin Harris, uh, currently the new Jack on the house scene. Okay, uh, let's get back to the Bedroom Bedroom chart and it's time to reveal for you uh, this week's number one. This is Toro Remote from London. I don't think that's his real name. Uh, his influences are Daft Punk and Mr. Wazzo uh, and this tune is called uh, Prog 400. <laughs> This week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. Congratulations to all of our entries this week. If you like that tune, by the way, you can go to fasttracks.tv and stream it to your heart's content. And while you're there, uh, do vote on next week's chart. And if you're doing that, you could be winning yourself a copy of this. Look, uh, Dave Seaman's Renaissance album. He signed it. This could be yours. That's all we've got time for this week. Uh, I'll be back in seven days' time with another hot selection uh, from the world of dance and electronic music. Until then, see ya.